I really loved his record called On the Corner, which he made in 1973. After that, he kind of got hooked on drugs, only re released live records or sort of going through the um, archives and releasing bits and pieces from uh, previous recordings. But I figured if, if he was going to make another studio record, um, and he always wanted to appeal to sort of popular culture in a way, and oddly he thought On the Corner by mixing jazz, funk, and Indian classical music would somehow be a hit with the kids. Um, I, I thought that the next step, logical step we would make would be to incorporate Afrobeat. There's two songs which alternate. Uh, the song Luanda is a bit more Afrobeat and Kinshasa is a bit more rock. So I'm both looking at the past and trying to make a, a reasonably authentic um, depiction of that past, um, but this is speculative, it didn't really happen. This recording session didn't happen, but it might have happened. And that's the, the thing which I'm, you know, was, was kind of a set, quite satisfying about this. It also, it's in a way the most uh, optimistic way it works, where it sort of says that um, here are these people from very diverse backgrounds, here are these musics which are, are quite different from different, co different contexts, which can come together and synthesize into something that is um, unique and whole. So this um, synthetic uh, practice, this idea of um, things coming together to make a new formation, is um, a very optimistic position. Yeah.